academic arts, helpful and honest thinking. So how would you feel if somebody stepped on this little kitty cat and they did it on purpose? Well, you would be angry and upset, and rightly so. You'd say, this is bad, this is terrible, this is mean. Don't step on kitty cats. Well, that's how professors feel when students plagiarize. In Japanese, that is tosaku. Professors don't like that. So today I'm going to be talking about honest and helpful thinking. My name is Professor Joseph Polshak, and this is Academic Arts. So what is helpful research? What is it? How can you and I be helpful researchers? Well, we carefully cite our sources so that our reader can learn more. So we're sharing information. We have a source. We carefully cite the source so the reader can learn more from that source. And we make it easier for our readers and listeners to check for accuracy and fairness. Are we being accurate? Are we being fair? When we cite our sources, the citation will point our reader to the source and they can go check and see if we are being accurate and fair. And they can go and learn more if they want to. Well, what is honest research? What is honest research? Well, simply that means you do your own work. You don't steal the research from other people. You do your own work. You don't copy, <clears throat> copyize. You don't copy or summarize. I think I just made a new word. You don't copy or summarize words and ideas from others without citing them. So you give credit with citations. So in this short talk on helpful and honest research, I'm going to talk about two aspects of citations. One is an in-text citation. So you're writing a report, and in the middle you quote a writer. So here I'm quoting Paul Nation. Adding an extensive reading program to a language course is the most important improvement that a teacher can make. Please note the exact way that I use this citation. Parent, open parentheses, nation, comma, 2013, comma, space, P, period, space, 18, close parentheses, all the spaces and everything, the period, everything is exact, very strict rules about that. So that's an in-text citation, and there are many ways that this is done. This is just one example of an in-text citation. At the end of a paper, we always have a bibliography or a reference list. I'm using APA format here, so you can see the reference list looks like this. I have two references here in the reference list. Notice that the second line is indented, and you use special um, your ruler in Microsoft Word or whatever word processing your program you're using to get that to work. And every aspect of this insight in a reference list citation is exactly following a set of rules. So I'm not going to explain the rules here in this slide, but I'm going to point you to a place where you can refer uh, to this to the rules and follow them. So I recommend <clears throat> this poster from the Purdue Online Writing Lab. It's one of the best writing labs online. Very simple, quick summary of APA guidelines. So it says here, this poster provides basic rules for using APA style. And of course, if you want to know the super detailed aspect, you need to get a manual, but this gives you the basics, and that's probably all you need. It shows you how to do in-text citations, um, and there are many different ways to do that, and it also shows you how to make your reference list. If you want to download <clears throat> the uh, APA poster from the Purdue Online Writing Lab, you can use this QR code, or I made a simple link, www.bit.ly forward slash APA hyphen AOWL hyphen poster. So you can download it with that link. It's a shortened link, or you can use the QR code so that you can practice helpful and honest thinking. Remember, don't step on kitty cats. Cite carefully to help your reader check your sources and cite accurately, uh, honestly show your work and the work of others. That's all I have for today on helpful and honest thinking. Thank you for listening.